Good day, Sacramento. Wow, what a special Friday. Okay, we've got Tessa right here and her handler, Greg. And then we have right next door, Bella and her handler, Sarah. Sally Sue Stein, who started the Gold Country Wildlife Rescue back in 1991. Uh, Sally, what was your vision for starting this animal rescue? My mother's watching. I'm going to tell you right now. It's Sally Sue, one word. <laughs> oh, no. I'm sure oh. She's, I'm sure she's dialing the station as we speak. <laughs> Oh, we, we, we saw that on the on the, the little information on the box. Sally Sue, one word, got it. Okay, so how did you start it back in 1991? I was crazy. I, w I was rehabilitating with a group here in Sacramento. Then I worked with one in El Dorado County, and it became clear we needed our own group in Placer County. So I applied to Fish and Wildlife uh, for a permit, got it, and then I had to do the whole nonprofit thing, and it explains why my hair is gray. It has been a, a long run for you. Okay, so let's talk first with um, Sarah and Bella here. So you are a volunteer, and how? what's Bella's story? How did she come to the wildlife rescue? So actually, there were people who thought that she'd make for a good pet, and so aside from it being completely illegal, uh, when these owls get bigger, they get kind of unmanageable um, So as a pet. So what wound up happening is Fish and Wildlife got involved. Um, we took her, and we tried to wild her up. And when we tried to release her, she kept coming back. So eventually we just kind of discussed it and she became a, an a educational bird for us. And, and she's now, been working out great ever since. She is a fabulous ambassador. Look at those eyes. She is absolutely spectacular. Such an incredible bird. And then we've got Tessa over here. Greg, what's the story about Tessa? How did she come to be with you? So Tessa was um, hit by a car in the Auburn area. And if you look very carefully, you can see one of her wings is held differently. So we've had her since about 2005. And she was healed, but she isn't healed well enough to be able to hunt in the wild, which is why she's unreleasable. And so both of these birds are being held at one of your board members' houses. Uh, board members really go above and beyond to help this organization. So coming up October 6th, this is the one day out of the year that you invite the public to come and see what it is that you do. Yes, uh, people can come October 6th. It's a Saturday between 10 and 2, and we are giving tours of our facility. Normally, we are not open to the public. We're not a sanctuary. We're not a zoo. Our goal is to release these animals to the wild. But our, we're regulated by Fish and Wildlife, and they allow us this one day a year to invite the public in to see what we do. So Sally Sue, what would you say to someone who comes across an injured animal and who, who wants to help out? Um, first visit the website of your local wildlife rescue because they have good information on when to help and when not to help. And then you can always call us. Um, our number is 530-885-0862. There's a group in Sacramento County. There's a group in El Dorado County. Um, and we can advise you on what to do. So what does it take to be a volunteer like Greg and Sarah? And I understand they put in countless hours. Yes, it takes some training. So uh, for us, you can go to our website and sign up online to become a volunteer and get put into our training program. We welcome volunteers year round. Um, but it does take some training and you have to learn our protocols and our procedures. And this isn't like volunteering at your local county animal shelter. You don't get to snuggle. You don't get to hug the animals because we don't talk. Uh, we keep a visual barrier between us and them for the most part. We work really hard to keep these animals wild so they don't end up like Tessa and Bella. So they don't end up like animal ambassadors. Yes. But boy, yeah. we do feel blessed that we're able to meet them this morning. All right, so we will get the details linked for you at GoodDaySacramento.com for everyone who wants to come out and visit on October 6th. Thanks for coming here, you guys. Thank you. you did a very good job, Tessa. Excellent yes, work. she did. Good she work, is. Bella. Good they work. are amazing. Aren't so they? beautiful. Well, she's got a thing for her handler I know. there. I'm right? she's <laughs> right you. Get a little, little crush on you. <laughs> there, Tessa does. Oh, wow. And I'll tell you, raptors are such amazing birds. They They're are, just so they cool. Are. Gold Country Wildlife up in Auburn, if you want to check it out on uh, this uh, next coming weekend, a uh, week from now. All right. Well, it's the weekend. Every grade yard shift worker dreads in Sacramento. The Capitol Air Show kicks off today. <laughs>